Hello, my name is Darren Platson, Director of Investment Strategy with Ide Bailey Financial Services. Today, I'd like to discuss the differences between mutual funds and exchange-traded funds, sometimes known as ETFs. First, let's start with the similarities. Both represent a collection of individual stocks and bonds that are pooled to make a potentially diversified holding. Here are the differences. First, ETFs can be traded like stocks on an exchange They are traded every second of every day when the market is open. Mutual funds settle at the end of every trading day based on a calculated price. Second, most mutual funds are actively managed, so the manager is trying to beat a certain index, whereas exchange-traded funds will typically mirror indexes. Third, ETFs typically have lower minimums. Basically, if you want to purchase one share of an ETF, say at $24 per share, you can versus mutual funds, which typically have an initial account opening minimum of, say, $500 to $1,000. Fourth, and most importantly, expense ratios. In 2018, the average mutual fund expense was 0.78% versus 0.21% for exchange-traded funds. This is important in that it will directly lower the return of the fund by the expense ratio. At Ide Bailey Financial Services, we actually use both mutual funds and exchange-traded funds However, the majority of our investments are exchange-traded funds that fit nicely into our portfolios. I hope you have found this useful. Happy investing.